What's up guys, AJ back here with another shoe review and let me just say right now I'm very excited for what I'm about to show you as I was waiting for this shoe to come out ever since I saw rumor pictures of it and ooh, 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 y'all ready for this? It's the Air Jordan 4 Unions. The shoe did come out August 29th on the Union website. And let me just say right now, it's probably one of the easiest cops of the year as in terms of manual versus bot. As anyone with a bot probably couldn't even get a pair. As you had to go answer a question just to purchase the shoe. Or answer a question again to line to purchase the shoe. And let me say, I didn't get lucky. Even, even if it was the easiest cop, I still didn't get lucky. But my cousin did hook me up with the review. So then I can go give y'all the best content. The one thing I do love about shoe releases is when it does come with a special box, especially with collabs, as this one does come with a baby blue box all around with like a tan second part to the top. And for this box, we did get a size 10 and a half, and the tag says Air Jordan 4 Retro SP with the color code being Guava Ice LT Fusion Red Glace Goyave Rouge Fusion CLR color, I believe. And it says men 10 and a half, and it also features a women's size, which is a women's size 12. And for a retail price of 250, this is more on the premium size for Jordan 4, as Jordan 4s usually range between 200 or 220 dollars. The top does say Union with two hands. I'm most likely guessing that was Michael Jordan like took it, taking a shot. As you open up the box, the wrapping paper that comes inside the box is also special too, where it is Michael Jordan on the tag, I think all around it. And it's two layers too, which is so crazy. Y'all ready for the shoe? Actually, I can't even touch the shoe. Let me get my gloves real quick. Okay, now that I got my gloves on, I'm ready? Ooh, the Air Jordan 4 Guava Ice. The shoe does feature an all light pink upper with the toe having like a netting material. And it does feel kind of squishy as I was playing around with it. Also with the side panel, it has a vintage white look to it. And the background of it be a netting material too, like with the toe. And on the bottom of it, it has a Union to LA tag, which is nice. On the side where the wing is, it's a transparent look with the top of it being a blue, a transparent blue for the laces. Also on the front, it has a pink version for the laces. Towards the back of the shoe, it does have a brighter pink netting right behind the transparent wing and everything. On the very back of the shoe, it has a blue heel tab with pink lettering and this one is cool it has nike air instead of the normal jump man that comes with the shoe on the tongue it has the same netting on the toe and the sides with the vintage white upper layer and the shoe comes with white laces but features a pair of yellow laces too which is a special touch because four shoes don't come with extra laces and for the tongue which is the one part like most people were hating on for this it made it look like the jordan 4 was lower is where the tongue actually is folded in half it's not cut in half it's folded in half as in, you know in a normal pair of jordan 4s inside the tongue would have the air jordan logo but it's upside down so with this one they folded it but they stitched it because people before they would rock their fours as they would fold down the tag and then just show off the air jordan part so they probably just wanted to bring it back like the old school feeling and if you did want to actually have the actual tongue up all you gotta do is just cut off the yellow stitching which is crazy because you if you want to find a dead stock pair you have to find a pair where the stitching is actually still on the stitching which is like a really cool touch to me on the inside of the shoe it has a blue inner layer and on the install, it features a red Jumpman with Union print on the bottom of it. On the bottom of the shoe, it features a vintage white coloring with the middle of it being pink and the sign being blue, Nike. And on the toe part, it has a white middle, which is cool, and then multiple colors. And on the midsole, it does have that vintage white coloring to it. So the whole bottom of it is like vintage white. 
And what's special about fours and my favorite about fours, how it does come with this special blue Jordan hang tag. Man, if this was my pair, I would keep this and I would probably put it on my car. But it's not, so I can't. All around the upper is a light pink coloring with a suede material. The one thing about suede is don't wear it in the rain unless you do want your shoe to be gone. Because the moment water touches suede, the shoe is gone. I'm telling you that right now. There is restorations, but it's kind of hard. So protect your shoe. Don't wear it in rain if it's suede. The shoe did come in two versions as it came with the guava eyes that you see right here and a Nyor, which is more of a black, blue, red colorway, which is nice too. Personally, I feel like this one's better as everyone else is hating on this one. But that's because I like shoes that pop. Cause I want a shoe that like when you walk into a, like a room, that's the first thing they see is the shoe that pops out. The Nyor is cool, but they have to like, take a good look at it be like, oh shoot, you got the unions on. But nah, if you walk into the room and wearing this, the first thing they're gonna be like is, damn, you got the unions on, you know? So that's why I kind of like shoes with this bright colorway more than the other one, which is a good thing for me, especially since resale for this one is not as high as the other one, even though resale still is high, don't get me wrong. But all in all, I would give this shoe like an 8.5 out of 10 as the resale price for this is just really high. Like the hype over the value is just twice as much. The value for this shoe is probably like 200, 300 at the most. Me personally, that I would spend. Like it, it doesn't really have that $800 tag that I feel like it's worth. Or it's probably having that value mainly because it is a collab with Union, especially with the Jordan 1s being like damn near 2K I think right now. So that's why resale for this is probably up there, mainly because of the name. Because if, if Jordan 1 did just throw this colorway by itself without Union on it, it wouldn't be reselling that high. I'll tell you that right now. If you do want to buy the shoe right now, prices range from $700 to $1,500 on StockX, where smaller sizes are kind of cheaper than the bigger sizes. Honestly, I would say buy them now rather than later, as resale value will go up slowly, but it will still go up. So if you are thinking about buying the pair, you might as well just buy them now while you can. And that pretty much wraps up this video on the Air Jordan 4 Guava Ice. Let me know if you guys like the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment below what you like about it or anything I can improve on as I am trying to give my viewers the best content every video. But that pretty much wraps it all. I'm sorry I can't do an on feet for this one as this one isn't my pair. But besides that, that's all it is for today and I'll catch y'all in the next one. AJ on the beat and I'm out. Let me tell you this.